Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hold E or press E to open door in Roblox Studio. So let's just get right into it. So first of all, if you don't have Explore or Properties, make sure you get them. They're under the View tabs because we're going to be using those for today's video. And the next thing you want to do is uh, make the actual door. So it could be anything you want. So I'm just going to turn on some grids. And then you can go to model, insert a part. And I'm just going to make my door 8 tiles wide. Let's make it 10 tiles tall. So, like that. So this is going to be the door I'm going to be using for my video. Yours can be anything you want. You can also decorate it. So I'm going to turn off my grid. And I'm going to call this door. And let's go here. And let's change it into rust. Let's get uh, wood planks. Uh, how about just wood? I'll get wood. Uh, no shadow. And anchor. So make sure it's anchored. So then the next thing we want to do is um, you can decorate it. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So I'm just going to go here, insert a cylinder. I'm going to rotate the cylinder. I'm going to make it very small. Now I'm just going to drag it so it's on the door like that. And I'm going to call this uh, the doorknob. Door knob. And I'm also just going to customize it. So in the properties, I'm going to make it yellow. Yeah, so this will be our door. Uh, so just make sure that if you have more than one part in the door, yeah, you need a union it. So just select both of them and you can press Control Shift G. Now if you don't um, know how to press that, you can also just go into the, I believe it's model and it should be union. Just make sure that you select both of them and then you press union. So now that we have our door, we can actually finally start scripting the door. So first of all, what we're gonna do is under the union, we're just gonna rename it into our door, and we're gonna click the plus and enter in a proximity prompt. Not that thing, that's the wrong thing. A proximity prompt, this one. You don't have to name it um, if you don't want to, but just make sure under that, we add in a script. And then we can write what I write in the script. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tweening the store so that it moves um, whenever you press the E. Speaking of pressing E, just go back to the proximity prompt, go into the properties. And here you can customize it. So action text, I'm going to put as open door. And click enabled everything. And then hold duration. So I'm going to hold it as you need to hold it for three seconds. And then keyboard code, it's going to be E. I'm going to put it at 25 activation distance. And then the actual text is the door. And then, yeah, you can just play around with it, but this is what I got so far. So now we can actually go back into a script. And you can write what I write. So local tween service service equals to game colon get service and then we're just going to write tween service so this will get the actual tween service and then you can go down the line and we can write local open equals to and then we're going to put these very weird brackets that look just like that and then go down the line and then write position so position equals to vector three dot new. And then here we're gonna be writing in some numbers. So take the door here and then just duplicate it and then move it into the direction you want the door to move in. So I want my door when it's done uh, to go here and make sure that's also touching the door because I guess that just looks a bit more nicer. And then go into the new door and go down to the properties you find the position and you'll just copy the position and you can paste it right there 
and then after that you can just delete the door because we don't need it anymore so that now when the door opens that's where it's going to go and now we just need to make it so that when it closes it's going to go back to the regular position so just copy that change this into close and then just get the the current position so just copy the new position that you have right now and it should be something like this so my difference was it went from four to negative four so yours might be different on something else but that's just what mine is um so yeah so that now that we've got our actual position we just need to make the tween so you can go down two lines and you can write local tween info equals to tween info but this time you have a capital i dot new so we're going to create a new tween info and then you're just going to write one comma enum dot easing style dot sign you can play around with this one uh the sign one because there's a whole bunch of them that you can use i'm just going to use sign and then comma enum enum and then we're going to go on to easing style we know easing direction now and then dot and this one you can go in in out or out most people use out so i'm just going to use out too i'm going to zoom out a bit so it should look like this and after that we can go down the line and then we can write local open so when the door opens so we're gonna go get the tween service that we had earlier it's going to create a new tween so colon create i'm just going to write script dot parent dot parent because that's where the door is and then we're going to write the tween info oh it's comma tween info so it's one with not the capital i and then we're going to go comma and then we're just going to write open so basically it'll tell the door to basically take this information to go to this position and then we can basically just copy that go down the line instead of open just change it to close and also change it to close at the front and make sure that's a little bit different so I'm just gonna capitalize these two because if it's the same the code will um, it, 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 It'll break basically so make sure all your variables are different from each other so the last thing we need to do is when you press E the door actually opens so go down to line and then you can write script dot parent dot parent dot trigger wait it's actually only one parent dot triggered colon connect function and make sure it looks like that and then you can write open with the capital O colon play with brackets in the back and then we're gonna go down the line and we're gonna write wait and this is how long you want uh, the script to wait before it closes the door so I'm just gonna put it at five and they can write close colon play so just like that make sure that the brackets look like this and then we're just gonna disable the proximity prompt when it's opening. So we're just gonna write script.parent.enabled equals to false. But then when it finishes closing the door, script.parent.enabled equals to true. So this should be the whole script. I'm just going to quickly save my game, which I can't, I don't know why. And we can go press play. So I just loaded in and it seems like the doors on this side so I'm just gonna go here and it says door open door and then we set it to three seconds so one two three and you can see that the door moves there you can go in after five seconds the door will automatically close and you can't reopen the door while it's opening As you can see we can't press E because now it's unenabled but as soon as the door closes we can now redo it again just like that so yeah, um, you can add walls by yourself if you want. But yeah, this will be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!
if you are hearing this right now you made it to the end of the video so congrats um i am doing more you know do something to open door tutorials very soon basically like it's gonna be the same thing but like all you need to do is change the little bottom stuff so yeah